Hello everybody, welcome back for another episode of Castlevania 3! Last time we uh, started the game and we got Grant as our partner. So now we screw up killing skeletons. Oh yeah, right, don't... <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, they do respawn to me, just in case you hurt yourself. Alright. So anyway, uh, we're just gonna beat the screen and oh, this is a really bad time to do this. With a click of select, we can change to Grant. We're gonna play as Grant for this area. Except for the first screen, we're gonna play as Grant. Oh, you're right. That's another thing they changed in the um, American version of Castlevania 3. Uh, Grant no longer just um, stabs things with his knives. He just legit has the dagger as his standard weapon. Which just makes Grant so much cooler. Grant is like... He's like triple S tier, guaranteed, will break this game. Whoop. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, he can control his jump in midair, right. So I guess the more armor you have, the more limited your jump arcs are, apparently. That's how it works in Nintendo World, apparently. Oh, they replace it? Is that one faster? I feel like this one's faster. Alright, screw it. I'm gonna cling on this wall. Yeah, he can cling on walls too, which is nice. So basically you can have the throwing axe and the um Or kill yourself. That that's nice. Oh! Oh my god! Oh You know what? It's fine. At least I have lives for this area now, you know. Because there was no way I was going to be able to pull that off in one friggin' life, so, you know. I'm kind of glad that happened, but at the same time, you know, I was just trying to explore a secret. What the frickles? What is that? <laughs> is there going to be a new word? Probably not. Oh my god, these Medusas are not spawning in good ways. Uh, knockback is still a bitch, though. Please! There you go. Yeah. Alright, so let me get the double shot again. There. Here. There, just cheat with that. I don't know exactly how to completely control Grant when he climbs stuff, but, you know... Just the notion that you can do that. Go down the stairs. Go down the stairs. Okay. That's some Dark Castle Syndrome right there. Is that... I'm gonna call that Dark Castling. When you can't seem to get on stairs, no matter how hard you try. I don't know, just stair difficulties in general. That's what I'm gonna call Dark Castling. I'm gonna trademark that, so, uh, don't be thieves. Oh, fuck! Oh, god damn it! Why did you do that? Why? That's not... I hate when that happens, just... Here's the problem, half the time when you actually want to cling on walls to get places, often that just leads to you dying, which is just really stupid. See, this, this level was built to be able to have Trevor go up it, but only have Grant go down it, because a lot of this stuff as Trevor would be pretty dang brutal. I mean, because if... I mean, because you could go on this path and still do a, a Trevor-only run, which, you know... I don't recommend a Trevor-only run, because it's kind of painful. They kind of want you to use the partners. Alright, screw that. I don't care what kind of items you can get, fucking, I'm just going for time here, you know. There is a time limit, you know, this isn't like m friggin' Mystery of Convoy where you can stall stuff, you know. You gotta move your ass or, you know, you will not beat the levels. God damn it. 
More dark castling. Absolutely friggin' perfect. Oh, the screen scrolls to the left. Yeah, what what am I going what do I expect? You're trying to throw a knife at an armored dude. Whatever. Should I argue about Castlevania semantics? No. No. This is a world where people keep pot roast and walls and um where hearts don't heal you, but they in fact give you weapon power. No, hearts are just straight ammunition, you know. So at this point, there's just should not be any arguing about Castlevania's logic, because it's just... It's just silly! Yeah, almost like that. That was silly, too. The fact I almost killed myself just trying to... Just trying to make some simple navigation nearly killed me, you know. Alright, I'll take the stopwatch. I mean, I'll take the stopwatch. Oh. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. Alright. Honestly, though, canonically, it makes more first. M bleh, makes more sense to play. Oh god, owls! Oh Jesus! Honestly, these might be the second worst birds in Nintendo games. Because. Oh fuck, these owls. <laughs> I mean, they are, like. They are second only to the Falcons in Ninja Gaiden. Like, that's how bad they are. <laughs> I mean, obviously with Grant, I can pick him off at a distance because he has the throwing knife. Yeah, honestly, this is just gonna be Grant the series. You know, like... I mean, I'm sorry if you're disappointed with me playing as Grant, but it's like... I don't know any other character who can kind of match up to his strength, to be perfectly honest. Okay. Oh, that was an effective use. See, there you go. That's what, that's what... See, like, I can understand Egoraptor. Uh, Egoraptor. There's, there's no reason to call him that anymore. He's simply just Aaron. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, Aaron, he made... He made a sequelitis episode about uh, Castlevania 4. And basically, um, saying that, like, the whip does literally everything you need it to, and the sub-weapons are basically pointless, and to a certain extent, I agree. I mean, you know, because I've played Castlevania 4 in it. Oh, you can make a choice here. Uh, oh, I hate that swamp level. I mean, obviously, I'm gonna have to deny Sypha, but, you know, that swamp level, nobody likes it. Oh, they're legit our falcons! Okay! Never mind! You thought the owls were bad. I don't know. Oh god. Oh, those things. Okay, let's just not attack those anymore. Well, except for that one, apparently. God, stop getting in my way! I'd be able to deal with this comfortably if there weren't, like, 70,000! Do not knock me into a... Ugh, knockback. I mean, you know how much pain and strife it just took me just to get here? No! Forget it. Forget it. I'm not even gonna bother. I just wanna make progress. That's all I wanna do in this game is just make progress. Shit. Go away. Go away. Back away, please. All I have left to do now is just pot shot this guy with axes. Not even that's gonna work. Okay, there we go. Frickin' 
freaking spiders. Why does everything here want me dead? Is this a moment where Castlevania 2 kind of makes more sense? Yeah, Castlevania 2 actually kind of makes more sense here because um, the spiders in that game shot spider webs at you, but this game, the spiders shoot baby spiders at you. And it's just like, okay. The only reason I would accept this is because it's Castlevania, you know? It's like, don't question it, it's just Castlevania. Okay. So here's the, oh, it's this guy. Oh, you can only shoot him in the face. Right. Grant cheeses everything. Grant cheeses everything. There we go. Amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna save a state here just in case I fook up. Because then it revitalizes this chick. And she is like this. Thank you. I am Cypher. I am a vampire hunter. If you need my help, I'm gladly join you. Except a partner? Nah, I'm good with Grant. Is that so? May the gods above protect you. Yeah, it's not like you get a bad end or anything, depending on which partner you have. It's not like Grant murders Trevor when he's done, you know? That would just be jerk-headed. But after that, you have to play this gosh dang pirate ship level, and I hate it. I hate... I hate this friggin' stage. So, next time on Castlevania 3, we are going to be playing this level and the next one after it. And, you know, yeah, I'll just go two levels an episode. That seems good, right? I mean, the episode was how long? Uh, 12 minutes, you know, perfectly acceptable. So, I'll see you all next time. Only you can prevent forest fires.